Hey guys, wanted to talk to you a little bit about bit today about um, DuckDuckGo and why DuckDuckGo and other private search engines are so valuable. And I think a lot of people kind of have a misconception because they think that DuckDuckGo and other private search engines are, you know, the only way they're protecting their privacy is by not tracking their searches. However, um, the bigger issue that I think uh, DuckDuckGo does a really good job of doing is by not serving targeted ads on the other websites you visit. So when you go to Google and you search for um, Nike Shocks, the cool sneakers, you know, you type, type in Nike Shocks on Google, um, you know, the search results come up and you click on those websites and go to those. Um, you know, next time you go to NewYorkTimes.com or Facebook or, you know, wherever, um, odds are you're gonna see an ad for Nike Shocks or some other Nike shoe. And this is where I think a lot of people don't think about how this can um, compromise your privacy, <clears throat> but it really can because if you're searching for um, HIV treatment and then you go to these sites and you see some HIV drug, um, that could be potentially embarrassing for you if um, you know someone's watching over your shoulder and you're showing them this cool video you saw on Facebook and then they see that you have a bunch of banner ads in the right rail for HIV drugs, um, you know, that could tarnish your reputation or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I just think it's kind of a good idea to separate your search activity on the internet from your actual browsing so that the ads and things you see aren't directly related to your search, your search terms. Um, so that's all, just a quick rundown. Go ahead and subscribe and please like this video. It really helps me uh, spread my message of privacy across the internet. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks guys.